Hello guys and welcome back to this channel. It's been a while since I uploaded my last video, uh, but lots of happening around Laravel, Livewire and Filament PHP. So I thought it's a good time to start creating content to this channel again. Today I would like to show you three different ways how you can start your new project uh, with Laravel and Livewire. Three different ways to install Livewire and Laravel. Three different ways uh, in depending on your on your next application what would you like to create in the first uh, installation i will show you a very simple way where you will get a very simple laravel application with livewire installed without any login and register pages in a second installation second scenario i will show you a more complex way where you will get a login and a register pages with laravel and livewire so maybe this is the best which is suit for your next application in a third scenario i will show you the most complex uh, starter crit where you will get a login register and uh, api token uh, management page you can upload profile pictures and uh, you can manage teams and you can manage browser sessions and uh, two-factor authentications uh, out of the box so this is going to be your starter point where you can start and develop your next project okay so let's start with the first one which is the most uh, simplest way let's open a folder where would you like to uh, install your uh, create your next project i will use terminal and i use the laravel new and your application name this is the command so laravel new and your application name in this case i will be used test one okay it took about one minute or so so now let's enter to this uh, newly created project cd test one in my case and let's do let's uh, install livewire so let's go to the livewire page and let's go to the documentation and uh, installation and this is the only command we need composer require livewire slash livewire copy this command let's go back to the terminal okay one more step let's do let's in, do the npm install Okay, now let's do npm run dev to compiling our assets. And let's open this newly created application in VS Code. Here is my application. Let's add this. Let's close this. Okay, so basically if you check the resources folder uh, inside the views, you have only this welcome.blade.php. Let's see this in our browser. So let's open a terminal in this uh, VS code. Okay, so let's run this application in the browser. For that, let's use PHP artisan serve command. Okay, so as you can see, we have this uh, very simple Laravel page without any login and register uh, pages. So let's see it. We can change the text on this uh, welcome.blade.php. Let's hit refresh, Laravel. So as you can see, we see this uh, welcome file here. Okay. So this was the very first um, option. We don't need any database for this. You can build a very simple website with interactivity uh, using uh, Livewire on it let's do the second scenario when we will have login and register pages up here in the uh, right up corner but uh, nothing more but just uh, login and register okay so for the second scenario let's open a terminal again and let's install Laravel again Laravel new and 
in my case the project name will be test2. Now we need to install Laravel Breeze at this time, but first we need to cd into like, this uh, new folder, test2. Okay, let's install Laravel Breeze now. Breeze now. Documentation, starter kit, and we would like to install Breeze, which is composer require Laravel slash Breeze dash dash dev. Let's do that. Okay, that's done. Now we need all we need is the Breeze and Livewire version. We need PHP Artisan Breeze install. And we can select what preset we would like to use. And of course, we would like to use Livewire with Alpine. And uh, in the version 3 of uh, Livewire, uh, basically, the Livewire is built on Alpine JS, so you don't need to install Alpine. It's going to be installed automatically with Livewire. Okay, so we just need to type in Livewire. And we can support dark mode, why not? And let's use PHP unit. Now, so let's do npmi again. And npm run dev. And open this project in our VS Code. Here we have uh, the second version. Let's add this. Use the terminal. And let's do php artisan serve. Okay, and before I open it, I already know that it's going to be through an error because we don't have the database for this uh, for this uh, project. Uh, if I click on login and register, it works. But as soon as I try to log in or register, then I will have an error because now we are using a database, but uh, we don't have any database at the moment for this project. So let's just create the database for this. Test two. Okay, we created the database, and now let's go back to this terminal, add a new terminal for this, and let's do the migration. So PHP artisan migrate, which will create our uh, user table and all the uh, things we need for for this application. Now, if I if if I go back to the register page, hit refresh use fake filler register as you can see we can have a user now and we can log into the dashboard you you are logged in and we have a profile page where you can update your name email and password and you can delete your account but that's it okay now let's view the third version the more most complex way to install laravel and uh, livewire together we will using laravel jetstream to that and this will gives you loads of functionality out of the box. It gives you a strong and very good starting point for your next complex application. You will have two-factor authentication, profile image upload, uh, API token management, and stuff like that. So let's do that. For that, let's go back to the folder where you would like to create your next project. And we will use the following command, Laravel new. Your project name, in my case, is test3. And let's use dash dash chat. So this is the command, Laravel new, your application name, dash dash chat, hit enter. And you can select Livewire or Inertia. Uh, we would like to use Livewire for our application. Let's use PHP unit for testing. So let's hit one. Uh, uh, let's install Teams as well for this application. So let's say yes and uh, let's support dark mode as well.
Okay, now it's done. Let's enter to this new folder cd test free. Let's uh, do npm install. And let's do npm uh, run dev. Right, let's uh, do a database table for this new project. Test three, let's call this test three in my case. Okay, so our database is ready. Let's open this project in VS Code. Let's close these terminal windows and let's open our new project. Test three, add. Okay, let's open up terminal. Let's run migration. So PHP artisan migrate. Right, and let's now uh, run it in this application in the browser PHP artisan serve. Okay, so basically at the moment it looks like uh, same as the second version. We can register a new user. We use fake filler Chrome extension, hit register. As you can see, uh, you already can see that we have the chat stream application now and you have the team management section and you have a different profile pictures than before. So this is a more complex uh, profile uh, page. You can of course change your name, email, uh, password, but now you have two factor authentication. You can enable it and use, for example, Google Authenticator application. And now you have a browser session management. So you can look out, for example, if you logged in with your phone as well, so you, you can you can log out uh, your phone or you can log out your uh, Windows machine. Of course, you can delete the account and we can enable extra function as well. We can enable API tokens and we can enable profile image upload as well. So let's uh, go back to the VS code. And if you go to the, uh, if you go to the app, not app, uh, sorry, for the config folder and jet stream. And if you, s yeah, you are here at line 61, 62 and 63. Let's uncomment the profile image uploading option and the API option. So you uncomment this, you save this. And if you go back to the browser and hit refresh, you can see you can uh, add photo now to your, uh, to your, um, to your profile basically. And you can have you and you have now the API token uh, menu now which can be uh, a, which can be create api tokens for your application okay so i hope you like this video in the next video i will uh, check and install uh, filament php for the laravel application uh, if this video helped you then please hit the subscribe and the like button thanks for watching and bye